Hey guys, Zerka here and welcome back to my Packed Out series. If you want to get some Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFAcoinsonline.com. Their link to the website is in the description below. If you enjoyed this series, then please leave a like and a comment to support this series as always. And let's get this episode underway. Right, so we've got 4,713 coins, 48 wins, 18 draws and 29 losses. And I think my squad's fitness is fine for us to go into another game. But there's one change I want to make that some of you guys pointed out in the comments of the last video and the previous one before that as well is that I can now move uh, Wellington or Silva out, or whatever defender I use, Emerson, and put in uh, Varane, uh, who plays Real Madrid, because he's French, links up with Sacco, and he's also plays in the BBVA, which links up with Blesteros. And then, I think, now you play in the Portuguese League. But I think, if you my guy's fitness actually is wrong, you have got bad fitness. So he plays in the right formation. No, he plays in the right formation, yeah. But now he doesn't link up with anyone, because there's no Brazilians around him anymore. And... There's no people playing in the Portuguese league, and there's no one else. Yeah, there's no one who's Brazilian or plays the Portuguese league. So what am I going to do with this CDM here? I don't got anyone else who plays in the right formation there. What does this go up to, down to? It goes up. Oh, I put D dot in, and now my chemistry is now 77. That will do. I'll have you there, even though he's playing in the wrong formation. Chemistry's fine. That's cool, right? So we're going to go into a game. I've got a few things that I've got on the trade part. There's also a few things that I'm going to list after this game. But first of all, we're going to go straight into the game for the first part of this episode. Because um, I know I've got a few things in my uh, club that I can sell, such as my. I've got a squad morale card, which I don't really need to use because you'll see here that my whole lineup pretty much has high morale, other than a few players I brought in there. So maybe maybe I think it's better to sell, be to sell it because I think you can get like 1,500 coins for it. I think you can get that much for it. Um, what else can I sell that I can sell? Uh, I've got the manager that I didn't sell from ages ago, the German manager. I can't remember his name. I think his name's like J Lo. Um, apparently, he sells for a decent amount. So maybe I'll sell him. So a few things I can start selling, but we'll see. Right, so Krypton United, what kind of team have you got? It's got a 4 5 1, which I said last time was a bit crap of a formation, but I was proven wrong. And that's a pretty strong up front. You've got Bad Teddy up front, El Shirari, Neymar, and Adam Johnson. I don't know who the Greek guy is, um, but I'm guessing he's pacey as well, because you've got Johnson, Neymar, and El Shirari, they're all going to be pacing. You've got Palatelli up top. They're going to be very dangerous. I didn't really pay much attention to, it, attention to his defence. Just so you guys know, that it is uh, absolutely boiling outside right now. And uh, I'm indoors recording packed out with all my windows closed and my fan off just to make sure that the mic quality is the best it can be. Because uh, if I have the windows open, you'll hear like an aircon unit outside. And if I had a fan on, obviously you'd hear blowing, like a blowing noise, that sounds wrong. You'd hear like a wind noise the whole time. So I'm <laughs> sitting here depriving myself of, uh, f not fresh air, but cool air, just so I can make this video as quick as possible. It's dedication, I tell you. Go on, Sacco, finish that. What a start. <laughs> Six minutes in, yes. Me waffling on about, uh, I can't even, can't even waffle on what I was waffling on about. That's how brain did I've just gone right now. So me waffling on about how I was dedicated to doing this, sometimes, I don't know, I'm one of those players sometimes, that if I'm just waffling on, I do tend to play better. I found in sometimes in my live streams and stuff that when we just stop concentrating and we start like talking about something, we start playing really well. I don't know what it is. Right, so we're in 1-0 at half time and it's been a pretty crappy half. I mean, I had, a, I had that, I scored that first early goal and I have, I've had a lot of chances since, but I just can't seem to break his defence down as much as, as easy as I did the first time. I need to slow down my play again because that guy was scored from some slow play. But as always, he looks very dangerous on the counter attack. Uh, he's got Balotelli up front, so he's got his pace and his strength, and it's quite worrying because as soon as I like get tackled, he instantly boots it up there, and Balotelli was instantly managed to get the ball. So, ah. Get there, get there. Yes, two 0 Great goal by Rue. Great little chip finish there. Them ones are always really unpredictable if you're going to get them or not. It's always a bit of a risk when doing them, but I think that's my only option I had there, unless I could have like brought it down and taken it past him somehow. If I could, like, I could have, I guess I could have flicked it past him to the left there, but that just worked out. Uh, Turn him up. That's feel a bit, feel a bit safer now, but as we've seen, two 0 isn't enough to keep you secure in a game. So we're gonna have to push on for the third steal. Here we go. Insta reply is on. And there's the insta reply. As always. Good goal to be fair though. You did a lot of skill there and he got past me. But insta reply always happens. Come on, Tay Fuck, put it in. There you go. Ah, oh, for God's sake, Marchetti, I hate you. You have a crap header to be fair though. Come 
Come on. Go in the net. Oh, for God's sake. The player's looking lying down on the floor next to him. Right, it's full time 1 2 1. He managed to get a goal back in the game. Didn't deserve anything from the game, though. And uh, that's another three points on the board. I don't know what that puts us on. I've kind of forgotten what we was on. Has that put us on 10 points? I don't even remember what we was on. 10 points, yeah. So two points away from getting ourselves safe. We've got six games to go. So we've got 10 points. No. We've got six games to get two points. And obviously, we've got six games to get 11 points as well. So it's very much doable for us to win a title this season. We're doing well so far. Haven't actually lost in the division. Hopefully, I haven't jinxed that by saying that. Right, I've got 5,255 coins. I don't know if that means I've sold anything or not. I don't think it does. So as I was saying, I wanted to sell a few items. So if I go to, is it, not that one, not that one, development search. Right, so I have these two formations. I don't think, I don't actually know how much they sell for. Right, so I don't actually know how much these sell for. They're formation modifiers, but they're for the manager, which is the issue there. So I'm going to just list these and start them at like 200. List them for an hour and there's an auction and we'll see how much they go for. Um, I'm not going to need the 442 either. List that, uh, for, put that, and then an hour. And then I have uh, this sent forward to Cam. Now, according to footwiz.com, which is pretty out, I think it's quite out of date right now. I've checked Foothead, and Foothead hasn't got anything for this information. Um, but they say sent it forward to Cam is worth 3,400 coins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a starting price on it of, let's say like 2.5, and then put a buy it now of like 3.5. And if it sells, then it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And we'll lower the price as it goes along. Because I'm thinking that price might be quite out of date. And what else have I got in here? These are just all stuff. That I've got all the injury cards and stuff, but I'm not going to sell them. because I'm not, I might need them. I mean, I don't really get injured. But once I've actually run out of consumable space, then I'll sell them. Um, and they don't, they don't quick sell for anything, I don't think. They do. Maybe it's just worth quick selling them. Should we just quick sell these? Because I don't really need them. Like, I've never had a player injured. So I'll quick sell these, because it's like only 32 coins, I know, but that still helps us on our way. I should have at least like 10, which would get us like nice still 320 coins. Right, so in addition to that, we've also got a couple of formation cards in here, I believe. One of them being the 4231, which according to footwiz.com, sells for 2,000 coins. So, by, so I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. Probably list it for like, let's go like 1,200 bin and then 2,000, buy it now leave that and then we've got a 5221 which has got a lot more popular recently according to this according to footwiz again it sells for a thousand so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start it at like 750 and i'm going to put it for higher because i think it might be more popular now and um, i'll go 1500 and if any of them sell that's awesome if they don't sell it's fine we'll just we'll use them not use them we'll sell them again for a cheaper price right so you can see i've got a couple of coaches here a fair amount of coaches and managers um, but this is the guy we care, they care about. He's a place in the 4231 as well, so he should sell for something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list him. I'm just going to start him at like a thousand and just see if he sells. He, wait, let's put him being it. Some of you guys said he's to sell for two five hundred. I'm going to start him like that, and if he sells, that's awesome. He doesn't. It doesn't matter to me at all. Um, but any coins you can get out of those players and those everything we've listed there will be awesome. 